Be Quiet is surely known for a couple of things like performance and quality, but they also know how to make really massive hardware hard to get into your case. So today, meet the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 Black, the cooler that will keep your CPU cool without revealing your need for compensation. This episode is brought to you by CDKeyOffers.com. CDKeyOffers has a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of their usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. So this is the black version of the Pure Rock 2 cooler. The original Pure Rock 2 is also available in its brush aluminum finish with uncolored heat pipes. Though that is the only difference between them. So every spec or number mentioned in this review will be applicable to both coolers. Out of the box, the Pure Rock 2 is rated to be able to cool down 150 watts TDP. Being 155mm high, 121mm wide and 87mm long, the Pure Rock 2 is meant for mid to big tower builds but with a big focus on budget. The heat transportation is taken care of by four direct touch copper heat pipes which transport the heat up to the heatsink and end up at the top plate with the iconic Be Quiet text print. For the heat dissipation, Be Quiet used one of their Pure Wings 2, a 120mm fan controlled by a 4-pin PVM signal and capable of spinning at 1500 RPM while pushing 51.4 CFM at 1.25mm of water. And of course, yelling at 20.2dB. Inside the box of mounting hardware, we will find the usual AMD and Intel bags of goodies and two sets of fan clips in case you want to run the cooler with a push-pull configuration. Something that we will not find is a tube of thermal paste, as Be Quiet already pre-applies some unnamed paste on the bottom of the cooler. When it comes to compatibility, Be Quiet made sure to cover every LGA 1150, 2011 3, 2066, as well as the new LGA 1200 socket for Team Intel. On AMD's side, you can use the Pure Rock 2 on top of the Ryzen AM4 or the older AM3 sockets. Speaking of sockets, let's prepare them. For Intel, we need to take the provided backplate, push the Intel screws through it using the inner holes, place the washers on top and position it behind the motherboard. From here, we have to place the Intel spacers on the screws and use the mounting brackets with the end pointing towards the CPU and then just screw it down. For AMD it's a bit easier. Just remove the black retention brackets, place the AMD spacers on top of the leftover backplate piece, place the AMD mounting brackets on top with the ends pointing towards the CPU and screw them down. From here on both platforms, place the mounting bridge between the CPU and the heatsink while making sure that it sits flush and screw the whole thing down. Then the only thing left to do is to install the fan using the provided mounting clips and connect it to the CPU fan header. Ok, with the specs and all out of the way, let's talk about who this cooler is meant for. Clearly, this is the big brother of Be Quiet's cute little Pure Rock Slim. It is thicker, wider and big enough to fit a 120mm fan on there. That being said, on the spectrum of coolers that I've seen so far, I would place it at the very beginning of mid-sized builds, meaning that it would be a very good fit for everything like a 5800X and beneath and just enough for something like a Ryzen 9. But let's stop assuming and take a look at the numbers. We use the Pure Rock 2 on our test bench with a Ryzen 3900X locked at 4.3GHz and 1.4V V-Core. While hitting the CPU with a 100% fan speed, the CPU stayed at 87 degrees C. That is not the best result we've got so far, not, not by a long shot, and it is just one degree in front of the original AMD Wrath Prism. But the beauty of a Be Quiet cooler is the noise. Just listen to the difference.
In fact, the only cooler that is quieter at full load is the much bigger and more expensive Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. Of course, we also tested the whole spectrum by decreasing the fan speed in 10% steps. Unsurprisingly, the Pure Rock 2 quickly let the CPU thermal throttle at 70% fan speed. If we now normalize these numbers by the noise the coolers are producing, the Pure Rock 2 is able to keep up surprisingly well. Of course, it will never beat something like a Dark Rock Pro or a Freezer 50, but every other cooler coming in a similar form factor is just utterly beaten by the Pure Rock's noise to performance ratio. So let's get back to the original question about who this cooler is for. Ryzen 9, Intel i9, no, just, just no. The Pure Rock 2 will be able to keep the CPU from thermal throttling, but as soon as you push some load, the fan will just be working at a high speed permanently. And sure, you won't be able to hear it because it's, it's a be quiet fan and they are that silent, but letting a fan run at 100% all the time is just not something you want to do. For everything like a Ryzen 7, i7, i5, Ryzen 5 and all the leftover toasters, this would be a very good match, both from a performance and a noise standpoint. When it comes to the design, it's a be quiet cooler. It's slick, clean and simple. The color of the black version just looks gorgeous and it would perfectly fit into any anti-RGB build. The quality is on point, everything feels sturdy, nothing flexes and funnily enough, having the Pure Rock Slim 2 somewhere here, um, I can tell that there is a remarkable quality difference between the two, even if the price difference is rather small. Speaking of which, let's talk about one of the biggest selling points for this cooler, the price. Here in Europe, you can get the Pure Rock 2 for around 30 euros with a plus minus 2 euro up price for the black version. In the US, we are looking at around 40 to 45 dollars on Amazon US. This makes the cooler extremely affordable and if you are forced to choose between a pure rock slim and a pure rock I would definitely suggest going for the pure rock as it is just 8 degrees and the slim did not even manage to make it on our benchmark list. With that being said, what was good, what was bad? For the good side, quality, installation, performance, especially in regards price to noise and the noise and the price. On the bad side, I only have one big question mark. One of the ways Be Quiet made this so cheap, probably, is the fact that there are no vibration absorbing rubber pieces on there, neither on the fan nor on the heatsink. And I'm just wondering if having those would have made this cooler as quiet or maybe even quieter than the Dark Rock Pro 4. But for the price point, I guess you have to make compromises somewhere. Okay, so this was my take on the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 Black. Of course, I will leave all of the manufacturing and affiliate links and whatnot down in the description below. But if all black is not the thing that gets you going, have a look at the Akaza Soho H4. These guys had the idea of putting RGB into the top cover and it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.